Hey guys, today I'm going to be teaching you the C5 method or the Friedrich method of solving the 3 by 3 Rubik's Cube. So let's get on with the video. Before we get on with the video, make sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content of mine. And make sure to hit the like button as well for more awesome videos just like this one. So the CFOP method is an advanced method of solving the Rubik's Cube which involves these four steps. The cross, the first two layers or F2L, OLL, and PLL. So the cross is pretty straightforward. It's just a white plus sign on the bottom or any, co or any color you want, basically. And then there is the F2L or the front two layers, uh, which is a little bit different than the beginner's method and it's faster as well. So in the beginner's method, you would solve these corners first, then the edges. But with uh, F2L, you would pair this up together like this. You will pair both the corner and the edge, and then you, you will just put both of them together in the slot like so. And then the OLL is just solving the entire yellow face, not though you don't care about the corners or, or any of that stuff. And then PLL is just aligning the rest of the pieces. It's pretty basic uh, to understand. So I would not recommend you going to CFOP from beginner's method if you don't average at least uh, 50 seconds or one to one minute. If you average higher than that, then just practice and then after you reach that goal, come back to this video. So I'm gonna scramble the cube and then I'm gonna be right back. In this video, I'm just gonna be teaching the cross and the F2L. The OL and PLL, I'm gonna be teaching in the next video. So first of all, the cross. In the beginner's method, you would do this. You would put a daisy, like so, and then one more piece is left, like so. You put a daisy. Then you might line these pieces, and then just put the cross for all the pieces. But in the CFOP method, you wouldn't do any of that, and you just do it directly on the bottom. So you have to align one piece, okay? Then you can just put the other pieces as you wish. So here, then if a piece is like this, where the colors are matching, then push to the left, move this face down, push it in, move this face up. And then over here, you can move the bottom layer, push it in, and then push it back out. So this this step is pretty intuitive, so I'm just gonna leave it to you. If you don't understand it, then just practice, you'll get it. Next is the F2L. This is the most com the more complicated part. There are many F2L cases, and you can learn all of them, but I just like to uh, make it as intuitive as possible. So you can just do this. First of all, you want to find a corner piece that you want to put in the bottom layer. In this example, I'm going to be taking the white, green, red. So then you want to find the green, red edge, which is over here. Then you want to pair them up. So in this case, you want to find a, if you want to pair them up like this, where the color is uh, the same on the top. And then you want to find a empty slot on the back. You want to put uh, put this corner down like this, like this. So the corner over here, empty slot in the back. You want to push it down. And then this this edge, you want to push it to where next to the corner where it was. So in this case, the corner was over here. You want to remember that. You want to push it down and move this edge over here because it's, it'll be next to the corner when you put this back up. So if you move the edge and move, move this up, then it forms a pair. So after you finish this pair, you can just do this. You can put it next to where it needs to go, like this, with the corner on the, if you, you want, if the uh, corner is on the right, then you want to put it like this. And then you just want to put this side up, insert the pair, so make a square, and then just put it back down. As you can see, that's all one actual pair. But that's not the only case you can get. What if the pieces are like this? Where the white is on top and the edge is right next to it. In this case, you want to separate these pieces first by the same the logic that we used to combine the pieces in the previous example. So for this, you want to find a, an empty slot. Put this corner down. Move this once or twice. Spoon once. And then push it back up. And as you can see, it's separated. So after that, you want to look at the edge. 
on the corner, the edge. If the white is on top, specifically. So once you look at the edge, you want to move the edge so that it matches with the center, like this. Then, you want to find which color it has on top. In this case, it's red. And here, the red center is over here. So you want to move this edge away from the center, the center that the top uh, checker is. So like this, so the red, red, move it away. Then you want to move the corner piece, the white corner piece, above this edge. Then you want to move it back down. And as you can see, that formed a pair. And this, the inserting is just like the previous example. So you want to put the white on the right, and just do this. That's done. Next, what if the corner is on the bottom? Like this. Then you just want to take it out. Like this with just the RUR prime U prime. And then you can just uh, get this this case where the pieces are in a different color. If it's like this, then you can just hold put the corner above where it needs to go with the white sticker on either the right or the left. And then you want to just move it up so it'll be a become a pair. Move it into the slot and move it back down. But what if it's not like that? What if it's like this? Where the pieces are different colors on the top, but you can't just do this, or else it, it'll just insert the corner. In that case, you want to move this over here. So again, you just find an empty slot in the back, push this down, push it to the side, push it back up. Then you can usually get this case, and then you can just insert it. Next, you can if the corner is in the bottom layer and there's no empty back slot, you can either learn some algorithms, which uh, some algorithm which I will have in the description down below or you can just do this so you can just use a beginner method and just move it to the side take it out insert it so that is that's it for today's video thanks for watching please like and subscribe and have a nice day